Hello, Cancer. This is Crystal. We are magic. Welcome to your September reading. I know it's late, and because it's late, I'm also going to do a career and love reading for you. Clearing the energies. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Spirit. What messages do you have for Cancer for September 2021 for love, general, and career? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. I'm going to ring my little bell, guys. So uh, if you have earbuds in, turn them down. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, sacred ones of the ones watching Cancer, please come forward and we thank you for intuitive, accurate messages. Ashe. All right. <clears throat> guys, if you are new here, welcome. Um, I cut up. And I say cuss words, so if you're uncomfortable with that, which you shouldn't be, you're a Cancer. You're fine. I'm a Cancer moon, so we're one and the same. And Mars. Um, but if you are uncomfortable with it, I just, you know, want to let you know in advance. Also, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. We are magic one word. Magic with a K, of course. The ancestral magic, not the, not the stage, so magic. All right. Oh, look. Look who came through. Father Sky. Wow, look. Water guardian. Water gang, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Connect with your emotions. We always do. We are emotional beings, aren't we, Cancer? My God, so emotional, so empathic. They make fun of us. <laughs> he comes through again, and then we have the White Witch. I'm telling you, message is already popping out. All right, Cancer, let's go. What can they expect for September 2021? Thank you, Spirit. Split it. Mmm. Shapeshifter, his sexy ass coming through. Transform and unveil your gifts, Cancer. Beautiful. Under deck energy, you had She Wolf, two native spirits coming through. Unleash the wild within. What, Cancer? Are we going off this hard for September? Well, let's go. Okay, let's see what tarot has to say. This is the Angel Wisdom Tarot. And I love it so much. Because they're basically oracle cards, but they're tarot cards, if that makes sense. Thank you, Spirit, for Cancer's reading. This is the general reading for September 2021. We'll do general love career. Sounds good? All right, general. And I'm really going to try to keep this, um, you know, under 20 minutes. No more than 20 minutes. I'm going to try. I don't know how, but we're going to, we're going to do it. If not, yeah, stick around for 30. I mean, I'll figure y'all will stick around because, you know, it's, it's all the readings and I'm just so freaking entertaining. All right, Kathy, let's go. You're going into, oh. That's your card. Okay, so you're going in to September as the high priestess. Yes, 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 yes. I am so happy about this one. Um, so high priestess, um, intuitive energy, um, cancer energy. Um, so basically you are coming into it very intuitive, very mystic, um, tapping into your ancestral wisdom, all the things. Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not a time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. That's why you got shapeshifter and unleashing the wild with then this is this reading's lit already. Okay. Your foundation or for why you're feeling this way. You have balance. Oh my goodness. So this is temperance and tarot. Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary, Cancer. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. So that's your foundation. So you're going in with um, the Sagittarius energy, the balance, the ebb and flow, light, dark, yin, yang, negative, positive. You're truly in this month in your higher self. I'm so proud of you. What's benefiting you this month? 
oh wow, the Page of Swords, being more logical, more perceptive, um, communicating more, um, stepping forward more. Um, even though we're very emotional when you're stepping in as yourself, you're still benefiting from your higher mind. So blunt and exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need, but might be challenging to receive. Um, review all documents very carefully. So cancer, guys, if you're making wills and deals, you know, don't just sign the dotted line, go within because you've got this very intuitive energy this month. What's crowning your energy or your thoughts is wise count. Can count gosh, cancer, why are you winning so hard in September, generally speaking? Unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Loves. You got Taurus energy. This would be the Hierophant in Tarot. So yeah, you are seeking your higher self. You're seeking higher counsel. You're seeking more wisdom. You are, some of you may be going back to school. Some of you may be getting a new job, um, maybe learning a new trade. You're just ready to learn more. Just always, always, always seek wisdom. Never stop cancer. And the outcome... <laughs> Jesus, y'all think y'all need a love reading or a freaking career reading. Look how hard you're winning right now. Okay, so your outcome is promotion. Six of Wands energy. And I think that is Leo energy. So, yeah, you have victory as your outcome. Success. Wise choices where you didn't sign the dotted line right away and you thought about it and you used your intuition and you were balanced. You saw both sides. Out here winning. Out winning. Um, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, and scholarship. Guys, jeez. Cancer, save a little bit of winning for the rest of us, guys. Okay, y'all guys are winning just as hard as Aries this month. A promotion is your outcome? This is a, this is a success, successful card. I mean, this is you just winning. This is you being recognized for your hard work, all your efforts. If you have a YouTube channel or if you have a public platform, you will be celebrated by the universe this month, okay? Under deck energy, two of cups energy. Oh, the sneak peek to the romance coming through. Okay, two of cups, um, falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, Cancer. Um, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts, don't give up on people you love. Very emotional, lovey-dovey, booed up soulmate card, guys. Wow. 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 Okay, so well, let's see what your divine affirmation is, and then we'll get into your romance section, okay? Jeez, Cancer. Go ahead. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with romance, because I truly, this, this was a whole general reading, which means I don't got to do these. I don't have to mess with the tarot anymore. I don't need clarification on how hard you're winning right now. So I'm not gonna use these, but I will pull out your romance angel cards and the love oracle cards, the messy ones. Because I told you, we'll get some mess too, all right? We'll do one for singles and then we'll do one for Buddha, okay? I just heard my spirit, which is someone's spirit that's watching this. Why the singles first? Because, guys, y'all are already booed up and you're winning really hard this month. So, I mean, two of cups? Come on, guys, let the singles find out what the hell's going on, okay? This is your divine power affirmation. Let me give my homegirl a shout out. Christina Jerry, life coach, out here showing people how to be the baddest to do it. You can get these badass cards at www.xtinajerry.net. And you're like, Crystal, why would I get these cards? Because everyone should own these cards, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. Spirit, what is divine power affirmation for cancer, sun, moon, rising? We want to see why you should get these cards. These cards are lit. Oh, 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 oh. You got two of them. You got two. All right. First one. Not the only ones getting this. I think Quarry's got this. Love and happiness. Very cancer card also because, you know, we are so emotional and empathic and loving and healing. I came here to fuck shit up with love and happiness. <laughs> My Cancer Moon and Mars agrees to that. Yes, I did. We are here to fuck shit up with love and happiness. 
Oh, and, and then here's another very cancer card. I feel my shit. <clears throat> when I allow myself to feel, I heal past, present, and future. See what I'm saying? Why you need these cards? You pull these every morning, whether you're a reader or not, just for yourself. This is your divine affirmations. Like, this is what how I'm going to come into September. Right, Cancer? I came here to fuck shit up of love and happiness, and I feel my shit. I feel my feelings. I'm not going to be ashamed of them. I don't, we don't give a fuck what anybody got to say about Cancer with their non-feeling, non-empathic, just out here winging an ass. We are the empaths. Pisces, Scorpios, Cancer. We are the healers of the zodiac sign. So they can clown us all they want to. When I allow myself to feel, I heal past, present, and future. Because we have a tendency, Cancer, where we don't want to be emotional, but we are. Um, we have a tendency to um, try to mask our feelings because we think that's the right way to go, and it's not. We have to go through it. You've got to feel it to know what it feels like so you won't put yourself in that situation again, right? All right, so here are the Romance Angel cards for Cancer. Hold on for a second. Let me, let me, let me get this right because I'm a Cancer Moon uh, and Mars. So that's my passion, right? And aggression. I want to know what's really good for us. I want to know. I mean, two of cups. Okay, Spirit, you got our, you got our attention. You got our attention. <laughs> we want to know. Ain't enough. <laughs> them. They've been over there. All my cards are clean, but you know, I like to really pick up on the energy. Cancer, yes. Spirit, let's go. <laughs> now we can shuffle. <laughs> Cancer, Sun, Moon, ri Rising, Venus. Hell, let's throw more in there too. Um, what can we expect romantically for the singles? This is for the single cancers and then the relationship cancer spirit. Single first and relationship. Seems good for it. I'm getting a good mushy feeling. I'm excited. I'm ready to get booed up. Hmm, maybe it's a cancer I'm getting booed up with. Hmm. Don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, singles. Singles. Yeah, split them. I'm, I'm serious about this. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I like our, I like our little reading. Okay, we have. It is safe for you to love. Why? This is our singles. Because <laughs> we are so terrified to be hurt again that we're in this mode of. Nah, I'm just going to be asexual for the rest of my life and never, ever be in a relationship again. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for us to love. Oh, singles. Singles, I'm going to put you right here. Sorry about the bell, guys. All right. And let us get, well, here, let me go ahead and pull the relationship one. Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. All right, guys. So if you're in a relationship with a narcissist, this is for some of you, not all of you. Because remember, we've got two of cups as our under deck energy. Which means, you know, overall, we're Buddha. But pay attention to red flags. Um, the signs are cautioning you. Meaning the universe, your angelics, your ancestors are letting you know if you're being played or not. Right? They want to say it, but there it is. So some of us may be getting played, cheated on, just downright whack shit. You know what I mean? Um, and now I see why two divine power affirmations came out. This was for the singles. And this was for our, um, yep, that's exactly what it is, Vera. Yep, yep. Came under for safe love and you came here to fuck shit up with love and happiness, relationship cancers, pay attention to red flags. If your person is not doing you right, you don't deserve that shit. Call them out on their shit and maybe some healing can happen. Um, but yeah, heal yourself. You heal yourself from past, present, and future stuff. Start loving, start feeling, start doing the shadow work to the relationship cancers. So you can break that cycle of being mistreated or sad or, you know, feeling like 
you're trapped, you don't want that. Because this month, you are feeling your shit, you're owning your shit, and you're taking your power back. Because you're a shapeshifter and you're releasing the wild within. Alright, and this is for these singles. Spirit, thank you. Singles. Ooh, wee! Self-indulgence. Wow, and I just told about how someone needs to do shadow work. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Oh, yes, queens and kings. Relationships, palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Okay. Again, both readings are resonating with both singles and relationships overall message for us is self-healing self-love love 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 and work on your shadow self because when you do this guys when you work on your shadow self and you heal yourself um let me put this right here it's right here you can't see it because it's off the shit there we go um when we focus on our self-worth and when we heal ourselves, we break the cycle of abuse it's self-abuse, actually, because when we accept the narcissism, we when we accept being mistreated, and we're like, oh, well, they can't help it because they had a bad life. Oh, they can't help it because, you know, they had bad parents. How is that our problem? When we've already done the therapy, and we've went within, and we've healed ourselves, and we've did the things, why is their problems our problems? Why is their hangups our problem our hangups? Right? Why is their pain our pain? Yeah, I get it, we're empath and we're supposed to be there for one another, but there is a difference between a wounded soul that's truly seeking to be helped, to become well, to heal, and a narcissist who uses their past and their childhood to attack you. And it make you feel bad why they're an asshole. And then they love bomb the hell out of you. And then you're there like, I can't help it. You're the only one that's ever loved me. You're the only one that's ever accepted me. I'm so sorry. You know, just to be good for a month, if that. And then go right back to their old shitty ass evil cycles. So with that being said, don't know who that was for. That's for somebody, not everybody. With that being said, um, do what's best for you, Cancer. Go within. Meditate. Um... And it looks like you are, because as long as you listen to your higher self, stay balanced, walk in wisdom, communicate, you will have success. All right? Unleash the wild within, transform and unveil your gifts, because you came here to fuck shit up with love and happiness. <laughs> And you're healing your past, present, and future. I love you, Cancer. We did it. Under 20 minutes. Yes. All right. If you resonate with this, guys, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like it, share, and subscribe. And I love you so much, Cancer. And remember, we are magic. We are one. Have a beautiful September.